Good morning. Uh, it is Tuesday, July 5th. That's the first Tuesday of the month, which means that Will's It Is Taco Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we've got a great session lined up today. Uh, we are going to be highlighting uh, three of our order direct vendor partners. So uh, what that means is that each of the presenters you'll be hearing from today uh, has a relationship with Will's that um, allows you to go directly to them to order uh, the, uh, the things that they're offering. The order won't go through Wills, uh, but you will uh, benefit uh, from the, the discounted arrangement that Wills has with each of these vendor partners uh, by ordering direct. So with all of that preliminary uh, done, I think it's time for us to turn things over to our first presenter, uh, and that is Heather McDonough coming to us from North Star Editions. Uh, Heather, are you on the line? I am here. Thanks, Jeff. Great. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and uh, hopefully that will empower you to share yours, and then you can take it away. Sounds great. So you can see this and we're going to get all set to go here. It looks good. We're ready for you. Perfect. Well, hello, my name is Heather McDonough and I am actually the marketing and special sales manager for North Star Editions. Um, North Star Editions is super excited to be one of the newest vendors with Wills. Today, I'm going to introduce you to um, our imprints and just a couple of our newest titles for fall, just for something exciting. <laughs> Oh boy, she's not going to let me forward. There we go. So North Star Editions is a publishing company dedicated to guiding readers towards a lifetime love of reading. We distribute juvenile nonfiction titles in various imprints, as well as fiction and fiction titles for middle grade and young adults. Um, this spring, we'll be adding, adding picture books in 2023, so we're really excited about that. So our first imprint that I would like to introduce you to is our Little Blue House. With simple text and vibrant photos um, and high interest topics, our Little Blue House readers are an ideal way for our young learners to take their first steps towards literacy. Little Blue House is offered in two levels. With over 100 titles available for our youngest readers, here are just two of our new series for fall. So a pet can be a wonderful addition to a family, and this adorable series offers young readers a look at 10 of the most popular animals. Each book discusses the animal's behavior, along with the type of care that owners must provide. From planting trees to reusing clothes, there are many ways children can help the environment. This engaging series empowers children to make a difference in their community by living green. Our Focus Readers imprint delivers captivating nonfiction topics, accessible text, and vibrant visuals to be build reading confidence and motivate young readers. Our Focus Readers are available in five different levels for differentiated learning. Focus Readers have over 700 titles available. And I'm just gonna highlight just a couple of titles uh, series for the fall. So Exploring Money for our pioneer level grades one and two. From making money to following budgets and saving for high cost needs, money management is an essential life skill. This informative series explores key money related concepts and skills that empowers our young learners to take charge of their personal finances. I think all kids need this. I have 20 year olds and they definitely need this. <laughs> The United States has been reckoning with race and racism since its inception. Black creatives of all types, novelists, poets, musicians, actors, and more have used their chosen media to eliminate this, illuminate this struggle and articulate the experience of being black in America. This fascinating series was written by black authors. It tells the stories of eight black creatives whose artistic and cultural contributions have expanded the collective conversation on race. We're really excited about this series. We worked really hard on finding um, Black authors to write the series for us. 
Our high low series Apex empowers struggling readers to explore their interests with the support they need to succeed. With bold layouts and eye-catching images paired with short, simple sentences and relatively few words per page, Apex books provide high interest narratives that are accessible and engaging. And again, I'm going to highlight just two of our new series for fall. Bone crushing teeth to deadly venom, animals have developed many ways to kill predators and prey, and sometimes even humans. This gripping series highlights eight of these dangerous creatures, describing what they eat, where they live, and the deadly way they hunt or attack. And we know kids love these kind of titles. From forest wide infernos to howling, howling winds and rains, severe weather continues to, to inspire both awe and fear. This exciting series provides a fascinating facts about several types of severe weather, including how they form, the most extreme weather events in history, and how science and technology help keep people safe. Crossbox books will help your biggest sports fans stay up to date on their favorite teams and athletes. With engaging storytelling, accessible text, and vibrant visuals, Crossbox books deliver thrilling reading experiences for every sports fan. From the legends of the game to today's superstars, Major League Baseball has always been home to supremely talented players. This series introduces readers to the best of the best from their favorite teams throughout the years. This press box series highlights 12 of the teams in the National Hockey League. And we do have plans to highlight all of the teams, but we're just starting off small. <laughs> North Star Kids is a non-fiction book books to fuel young readers' passion for the topics they love most. Bite-sized text sections and bold and engaging photos make these all-encompassing resources a must-have for any young reader who wants to be a genius kid. The series, this was launched in the spring of 2022, so we only have the seven titles. So we'll have fall, this fall, Dogs, Cats, and Sharks, and this past spring we launched basketball, football, baseball, and actually the Olympics. So we're really excited about this series. Jellyfish Press for middle grade readers is a fun, exciting fiction. They offer, we offer exceptional, unique voices in children's fiction. Here are just a few titles from our Jellyfish Press imprints. When the histronauts travel back in time, they'll need your help to uncover the secrets of the past. With an exciting mix of graphic novel, facts, and activity, the Histronauts is a perfect way to bring history to life. These are two of our series fiction from Jollyfish Press. In the clutch, it all comes down to this, the final buzzer, the base is loaded, the last chance to break the tie. In the clutch, hooks readers with a do or die moment from Little League Sports. This is great for our young sports readers looking for fiction titles. The East Side Extra series features Annika, Benny, and Libby, all neighborhood friends. And they're known to be relentlessly curious. They're always asking questions and their interest in sharing the answers had led, has led them to starting an online newsletter. Encouraged by their parents, they venture out into the community to investigate the most engaging mysteries. And all four books in both of these series comes out on September 1st. Here are some of our middle grade non or fiction titles. Flip Turns is all about Maddie. She tells Lucas she doesn't want him to date. And then a string of vandalism breaks out on their family community pool and she's worried it's her admirer getting even. Maddie and her friend launch their own investigation to discover what's causing all the trouble. And Daisy Woodworm changes the world. Daisy loves insects, running track, and hanging out with her brother, Sorrel, who has Down syndrome and adores men's fashion. 
When her social studies teacher assigns each student a project to change the world for the better, she decides her brother Sorrel is a great way to help fulfill his dreams of becoming a YouTube star. This is full of twists and turns. This empowering story will wanting you to change the world too. And YA fiction fans will love our Flux imprint, where young adult is a point of view, not a reading level. Goth Girl will be releasing in, in just a couple weeks here in July 19th. Gothic fashionista Jess has been a foster child for most of her life. And she's on a mission to reunite with her estranged biological mother. But is she willing to risk new friends, a cosplay championship, and even her future to do so? And the truth about everything highlights 15-year-old Lark that has been taught to rewire a truck or gut a fish, but she doesn't know the branches of government, the continents on the globe, or really how to, how to read. Lark lives in rural Montana with her conspiracy theorist doomsday, doomsday prepping parents who homeschool her. When Lark gets her first period, she realizes she doesn't even know how much she doesn't know. She takes advice from a friend on a nearby farm and secretly goes to school for the first time. The more she learns, the more determined Lark is to expand her worldview, but it won't come without sacrifices. And I'm really excited to talk about this book. This is kind of a local book for us. It's our first adult true crime novel. Billed as the crime of the century in 1894, Murder at Minnesota Point tells the twisted sensational story of a young identified woman found slain on the isolated sandy shores of Minnesota Point, Duluth, Minnesota. And that author is a local Minnesota author and it's a, it's a really fast, fun read. Our North Star Classroom offers more than 1,800 titles for your classroom libraries, reading groups, and curriculum add-ins. We feature nonfiction, fiction, Spanish titles, graphic novels, and much more. Thank you for taking some time to learn about North Star Editions. A couple of quick things to note. Our education titles are offered in library bound, paperback, and available on ebook. Our fiction, trade fiction titles are offered in hardcover or paperback, depending on the title. To place an order, you can either call the number or email our sales department. Please be sure to reference Wills for the consortium discount. Any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, additionally, all of our fiction titles are, are available on NetGalley or Edelweiss, and we will auto-approve all Wills members that request our titles. Thanks so much. Heather, thank you so much for joining us. That's very exciting. Um, <clears throat> as Heather mentioned, uh, North Star is one of our uh, newest, like, like in the last couple of weeks, <laughs> new uh, vendor partner. So we're excited to have uh, her join us today. Heather, I think I'm going to have to uh, check out the uh, that goth girl book. I often joke that um, uh, I grew up and married the last 90s goth girl. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'll be uh, excited to see what the next generation of goth kids uh, has to offer. Uh, so thanks again for joining us, Heather. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm just going to take us back to uh, the agenda uh, in order to prepare to introduce our next presenter today. Uh, so joining us today from uh, uh, another one of our Order Direct vendor partners, uh, TDS Health, is uh, Jenna Miles. Jenna, are you uh, on the line? Yes, I am here. Can y'all hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen, which I think should allow you to share yours. Okay, perfect. And I will take that from you. <laughs> All righty, are you able to see my screen? Yes, looks good. Okay, great. Well, thank you all for letting me hop on. I'm actually stepping in for my colleague, Shannon. Um, so I'll be, you'll be dealing with me today, but I'm going to be doing a brief run through of one of the products that we offer at TDS Health called Primal Pictures. 
this is going to be an anatomy focused um, resource that's utilized in the academic space at a variety of different levels. So anywhere from the high school level, the undergraduate um, health sciences focused, the graduate level, medical school, PA school, as well as some clinical specialties anywhere from um, rad tech, surgical tech, dental hygiene, all of things like that. So um, I serve as the liaison for this product. So my background is actually in um, clinical focused for outpatient therapy as well as pre-medicine. So now I'm serving with this to help support. So mainly what I'm going to go through today is just an overview of the resource itself and also some of the resources within it that have been really becoming popular within academic libraries that we're serving as well as the academic space. So um, if anyone ever needs any questions or has anything, please let me know, but also I'll be able to pass you on to Shannon if you want to explore it a little bit further. But um, I traditionally like to start with this page just because it's a really nice snapshot of how versatile and how much this is being utilized. So we have, and this is a little outdated, it's back from 2020, but we have about 1,500 institutional um, customers as well as we are serving over 150 countries. So um, within that, there are so many different types of material to look at within this resource. Like I said, anywhere from a specialty of like a dental hygiene all the way to general anatomy. So with over 15, with over 5,000 image slides, we also have some movies and then 437 um, anatomy models, which I'm pretty sure is up to about 600 now. There's a lot of different ways to look at material in here, um, but some of the most exciting pieces of this resource are specifically the ways that they can be utilized within a library or within a classroom. So having something like an embeddable viewer to put into your LMS system, like a Canvas or a Blackboard, um, creating personal profiles so students can see material that relates to them and not be overwhelmed by a lot of other material. That's some of our biggest focus points. So, um, but what I'll do is I'll kind of give you an idea of how many different types of resources are in here. So I just switched over to my profile, which I have access to everything. So there's a whole bunch in here. Um, but kind of a quick snapshot of what it is, is they're all separated based on the type of resource it is. So we'll have up here is diseases and conditions, which is going to be focused in pathology. That's going to have anything from whiplash to cirrhosis to all those different kinds of conditions and how they relate to the anatomy of the body when they're affected. This is really popular with any of our health science focused programs. So anything from the graduate level where they're applying it in the clinic to the undergraduate, we're preparing to go to medical school, we need to take a look at some stuff and see some clinical relevance that in there. Um, this 3D Atlas is going to be one of the flagship products. It's been around for a while. This is gonna be what I would say the most general look at the whole body for anatomy. So it's gonna have anything from models to videos to movies, to animations, to slides, all of that kind of content. So a big generalized version to look at all those different areas specifically, isolate them down or look at them from kind of a big outward perspective. And I apologize if I keep muting myself a little bit because my allergies are um, doing really well today with our olive trees, so. <laughs> um, and so next we're gonna have our 3D real time. The best way I would explain this is a virtual dissection tool. So similar to the 3D Atlas from above, this is all the different areas of the body, but this is where you're able to really isolate down and dissect. We saw this very popular within medical school, PA, PT, OT, and nursing during the um, height of the pandemic because they were unable to go into their labs. And so this was a virtual replacement that either they were utilizing within the department or the library was providing them um, as a program to use to support while they were unable to go in. Um, this next group is going to be functional anatomy. So this is anything with movement. So anything from the PT, physical therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy assistant, all the way to kinesiology, um, anything like that is going to be related in here. We also have some material specific for massage and manual therapy, Pilates, yoga, resistance training. So athletic training and things like that. That's all gonna be material in here. So this is going to focus more on the actual functional components. So having a lot more 
of showing the actions of the muscles during a push-up and what's actually moving and acting and reacting. So um, this next group, the best way to explain it for the anatomy and physiology is think of a standard introductory um, undergraduate anatomy and physiology course. This is going to be like a vir virtual interactive textbook. So it's gonna have a lot more text in here, but the material will also have some of those models that you can dissect and look at a little bit deeper. I do have some programs who utilize this in place in replacement of an actual textbook because it is credentialed to do that, but it is also utilized heavily as a supplemental resource if you have a textbook that you're very fond of or that's been really integrated into your program. And then lastly, there are some quizzing elements in here that are utilized. There are some, um, this palm is going to be more of like an interactive flashcard element. So those are available as well as some imaging content and then clinical specialties. So this is going to be kind of like I was saying, those different really granular areas. So anything from audiology, otolaryngology, um, the chiropractic spine. So if you have anything that's more focused in that area, we do have those subspecialties. Um, this audiology, speech language pathology, and head and neck neuroanatomy are really popular with programs who have communication disorders programs. So we do see a lot of people who get really creative in adopting certain ones based on what they have, but there are specialties if you only have very specific groups. Um, and lastly, I'm just gonna give you a quick little look at one of the resources. The 3D Atlas is going to look like most of the other programs. So a lot of them follow the same templates. So I like to show this one just so you have an idea of what almost all of them would be set up as. And in terms of access, this is accessible from either a single sign-on, we can do IP authentication, um, username and password. So really depending on how you have individuals and your patrons access your content, we can manipulate it to make sure it fits. Um, so what you'll see here, left-hand side is your dashboard. The center is going to be your model. And then the right-hand side will be wherever any clinical text or anything um, that is going to pertain to the model will be. And I, I always forget to do this, but I'll give a disclaimer because I am opening up anatomy structures and such. So if that's something that makes you squeamish, just a heads up, I have a tendency to accidentally open dissection slides without warning. So I'm trying to be better about that. So, um, but if you'll see over here on the left, like I said, this is your dashboard. This first group is those 3D views. So you'll have that image in the center. You can select the structure. It'll give you the reference down here. It'll highlight it for you. And then you can add and wait to take away layers down here. So if you wanted to add more layers to the structure, rotate it, take a look at something like that, we can. Um, you can rotate these all the way around as well as flip them. So depending on what view you're looking for, we do have those in here. Um, when you are selecting structures, anytime you see this little orange over here, that's telling you that there's something else in here that you can link to if maybe you didn't know something. So you're seeing the word frontal bellies and you don't know what that is, you can click it and it'll take you to something like this really beautiful dissection slide that I just jumped to without warning again. So it'll give you a way to transition back and forth to things. And if you're trying to learn a little bit more about something, maybe you're learning in class that you're not aware of. Um, so a variety of different 3D views based on what you're looking for. So we are looking at the head and neck. So anywhere from the brain to the eye, the ear, all of that good stuff is going to be in here for you to be able to select and then rotate. Um, the next group is going to be slides. These are going to be um, imaging slides specifically. So different MRI views, you have the same ability to rotate through a structure, move it around <clears throat> and take a look from there. And then below that is going to be general slides. The best way that I explain this is going to be just actual um, PowerPoint style slides. The reason we have these in here is when people are looking for content for anatomy courses or for putting anatomy presentations together, Google can be your best friend or your worst nightmare trying to find materials. So having a collection here that you can look at slides and actual images has been proven very helpful. So we collected one for clinical slides, dissection slides, and then also some static images of head RMRIs if that's something that anyone wants to look at. Um, and then the last group is gonna be movies. So we do also have animations and how those difference for, differ from the movies is they have an interactive component. So while the actual movement is happening, you can stop it, select a structure, highlight that, see it a little bit more, um, but I'll go ahead and just play a movie for you. And these are static movies. They're exportable to PowerPoint, but 
just to give you an actual visual representation of something acting, reacting, and moving. Um, that way, if it's something for faculty of interest to use, if it's something for a libguide preference, anything like that is in here. Um, and so that's going to be how the content is set up. Like I said, it's going to differ a little bit based on your what you're looking at. So if you're in a certain clinical specialty, something like that, the material will look a little bit different, but a lot of them follow the same structure, which makes it really helpful. Um, these last little fun little icons down here are specifically going to be what you can use as a librarian, as a faculty member, as a presenter, a student. So how do we use this stuff? Um, again, we have anywhere from an index to filter material out. You can search across all the different modules if you want to look at one specifically, like just in here. We can do an isolated search down. This little star down here is going to be referencing what we call now our personal profiles. So what will happen is this will pop up for you. And what you can do is create an actual personal profile to build the material based on what you want to see. And so this came out the recommendation that Anatomy can be overwhelming, especially if you're just starting out with it, or let's say your library has a huge collection, all of it, but you're just your dental hygienist students want to go in there and they don't need to see everything and anything so they can build a personal profile to where they see the material and the modules that relate to them. This is also available for faculty, for instructors, for librarians, for um, health librarian liaisons. I see a lot of them create personal profiles to be able to send material to students based on what they need instead of having to completely dig through everything every single time. So that's a new ad addition that they created recently. Um, and I'll kick myself back out of it to kind of finish up showing you the rest. And then the last few are kind of the sharing options. So how do I actually share this material with students or if I'm teaching or if I'm a librarian trying to send a student somewhere, what can I do? So there is a sharing feature where you can just create a link just a standard HTML link. Everything on here is internet based, doesn't require a software download. It's all going to be something that you can do from an HTML5 perspective. There is a mobile component, but it doesn't require you to only have an app. There's, it's accessible from lap, laptop, tablet, desktop, all that kind of good stuff. So the copy link, if you, if you were to select the structure, highlight something and send that link off, it'll take the student directly to that. And then the last two are the ability to embed materials. So this is a really exciting new tool that they actually just released where you can embed material directly into your LMS system. So if I'm constantly using Canvas or Blackboard or Moodle, whatever that is, I can embed this actual structure directly into my Moodle page or my Blackboard page. Instead of sending students all the way into this resource, I can embed this interactive structure in there, put that on a page for whether it's a quiz or an assignment and have them look at it directly. So but it's another way to kind of keep students isolated onto what you're working on. And lastly, just saving material. So when you subscribe to the Primal Pictures content, you are copyright covered to utilize it within your own presentations, libguides, um, courses, all of that kind of good stuff. So you can save images as st still images, save the text, you can also take out those movies, put them into whatever it is you're utilizing um, because you are covered during subscription. So all of this is subscription based. We do anywhere from one, two, three, four, five year subscriptions. So just depending on what kind of material you'd want to look at is how we build subscriptions. There are um, packages based on the kind of programs that you're affiliated with, the type of patrons you have. So really customizable based on what you need. It is done on a tiered system. And so we kind of look at how many patrons would be accessing the material and build it from there. But um, that's kind of a basic rundown of all of the different utilization features. So it really is customizable based on what you have. So if you have more clinical specialty focused groups, we can look at something like that, more general anatomy. We have that option as well. But um, that's kind of the, the quick little rundown of Primal. And thank you for listening to my long winded rundown I do I I am the winner of every fast talking competition I enter so um thank you <laughs> thank you all for having me <laughs> Jenna thank you it's been a delight I'm I'm always just uh, amazed at the uh the capabilities of um this kind of uh technology and this kind of resource for for uh, our members so thank you so much for sharing with us today Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. And the last thing I will say is there is a VR component that's been added. So if that is something that you're seeing 
programs are adding VR labs and things like that, we do have something like that if you want to explore. So um, if you all need anything, please let me know. But th thanks for letting me hang out with you on your Taco Tuesday. I appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Uh, all right. With that, we are going to Oh, whoops, I muted myself. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to share my screen again just to put our agenda back up. And uh, then it will be my pleasure to uh, introduce our third and today's final presenter, uh, another one of our uh, Order Direct uh, vendor partners, Adventure to Learning. And we are joined today by Denny from Adventure to Learning. Uh, Denny, are you on the line? I sure am. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that you can start sharing yours and then uh, it'll be all over to you. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. All right. Can you see my screen? We can. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so um, thanks again. My name is Denny Mazzi. I am the president of Adventure Learning. Um, so here we begin uh, with Adventure Learning, where every learning experience is an adventure. Uh, just a quick rundown of what I'm going to uh, talk about today. We'll have a quick intro about who I am, um, of course, about Adventure Learning, and we refer to it as A2L for short, how to use it, and then, um, you know, for questions, how you can reach out to us. Um, we can help answer any of that. Um, so first of all, uh, again, my name is Denny Mazzi. Uh, pictured here on my left is my son, who is six months old, just last week. So I just thought I'd throw up a cute little picture of him uh, for your enjoyment. Um, obviously, I'm obsessed. Um, so a little bit about me. I'm a wife. I'm a new mom. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm the president of Adventure Learning. And I was born and raised in Michigan. However, I am currently residing in San Antonio, Texas. So that's where I'm presenting to you all from today. And just a quick fun fact about me is that I like to rock climb for fun. Um, so adventure learning, about adventure learning, what is it? Um, so adventure learning is an on-demand pre-K through eighth grade educational video streaming platform. Um, so we leverage a library of over 10,000 quality vetted and engaging and relatable educational videos as a method by which classroom teachers can supplement and support their curriculum um, to better enhance learning outcomes with their students. So I like to kind of paraphrase it down into it's a Netflix for teachers uh, or Hulu if you're more of a Hulu fan. Um, so basically teachers can log into our website. Um, they can search across different subject areas, topics, um, if they're familiar with our program providers, and they can find content that is related to whatever they're teaching in class for the day. And they can use our videos to help support um, their instruction. And actually teachers have found a ton of great and exciting ways to use adventure learning, which we'll cover here in just a few minutes. Um, so our mission and vision. Um, so our mission is to make a positive impact on this generation of students by creating and curating the best resources for active learning. And therefore, our vision is to make every learning experience an, ad an adventure. A fun fact here is, did you know that 65% of people are visual learners? I did not know that until coming into this position or coming into work with adventure learning. And it makes sense. I was a visual learner um, in school. I loved it when you would hear that TV cart uh, rolling down the hall, which kind of ages me a little bit. Um, but for those of you that can remember that, um, that TV cart was exciting and you were going to watch National Geographic or some sort of documentary or some really fun video. Um, and it, it helped me learn whatever that topic or subject was a lot better. So we kind of took that same idea and we have created this um, streaming library of similar but more engaging and fun videos. So we curate content. Um, we both create content, we produced our own content. And then we also curate content from other educational providers. Um, and we have a team of folks that um, are educators or experts in related fields that vet all the content to ensure that it's suitable for uh, you know, the grade levels that we're saying it's for and that it's accurate in terms of what we're saying it's aligned to. If it's aligned to science, it's aligned to science. Um, so uh, we also wanna make sure that our platform is easy to use. 
Um, so instead of a educator searching across dozens of different sites or resources or blogs or things to try to piece together uh, something to support their lesson plan, everything's all in one place. Um, so it's easy to use um, and it saves teachers time and money and effort and having to source things from a variety of different places. And most importantly, I think, is the fact that our content is fun and engaging. So, um, you know, the students, the actual reason why we've created this content is um, it's fun for them. They're excited about it when it's coming on. It's not a boring old, um, you know, outdated from the 1980s video about, you know, something happening. So uh, we have a ton of different content from all over that is engaging and relatable that kids enjoy. So here are some of our subject areas that we cover. Like I mentioned, we have our core subjects, our math, English language arts, science, geography, history. We also focus on SEL or social emotional learning. We have content aligned to that as well. Um, digital literacy is another topic area that we're expanding more into um, in an effort to help you know, bring awareness and helping keep, keep kids safe. Uh, we also have content across world cultures, um, places, cultures, different languages. So we have some Spanish language, we have French, um, and we plan to also um, in the future, near future, we'll have some Ukrainian um, content as well for our Ukrainian friends. Um, health and fitness, uh, that's, a, that's a really big part of our content area um, because we have active learning resources, meaning that teachers can use our fitness content to actually help increase physical activity right in the classroom. So if it's you know in Wisconsin or Minnesota or in some of those Northern states like Michigan, you guys know that um, it's cold and rainy or snowy and sometimes you can't go outside for recess um, or where maybe the gymnasium is being used for something else. So you have to figure out what to do in the classroom. So we have a ton of health and fitness content that um, helps increase that physical activity right in the classroom. It's easy to use. Kids love it. It's fun. Um, and that's a huge lifesaver there for teachers. And then we also have um, financial literacy. So um, helping uh, to bridge that gap there and in exposing students to, uh, you know, how to manage money, you know, how to count money, the basics. Um, and some of that content is brought to you by Warren Buffett. So he helped um, create some content there and um, it's, it's really exciting um, because we have both live action and animated content. So it appeals to a variety of ages and ranges and interests. So how to use adventure to learning. Um, we have a quick video here that I'd like to show you. Um, instead of me trying to explain it, we have some principals um, and educators that do a way better job than I can. Denny, I don't think we're actually getting any audio over that. I'm not sure if, if we should be. Yes, there should be audio. Let me see if it's my headphones. One second. <clears throat> I'm hearing that now. It adapts so well to what we attempt to do. The teachers have the maximum amount flexibility and programming each day. It can be five minutes, it can be 10 minutes, it can be a half hour, and it can be done in the morning, in the afternoon, or the evening. You don't worry about having a resource person, someone live to do the program. It's always available to the teacher when the teacher wants to extend oneself to incorporate it into the daily lesson or incorporate it just for good old fashioned fun. I love having that option to have shorter breaks or even the longer episodes because the students love um, to get up and get moving and they're also learning at the same time. A great way to bring the students in right after they finish with lunch and recess because it's so unstructured. So uh, I noticed that the, the classroom teachers use it right after that to bring some structure back to their afternoon. Well, the videos have been stuff that my children are generally interested in and they love nonfiction, they love facts in my class. So hearing stuff that's already what they're doing on their own has been helpful for that. Because it's web-based, the teachers now, all the teachers who have smart boards in their classrooms can actually um, access the program right on their smart boards. Um, all right. 
Can you guys still hear me? Yep, we hear you. Okay, perfect. Oops, I'm trying to get past this slide here. So now I'd like to do just a quick demo of our site. And let me know if you still can see my screen. Looks good. Okay, perfect. So this is adventure learning. Once a user has signed in, um, you'll land right here on our dashboard page. So um, a great spot here to pay attention to is this kind of recommended for you. We like to switch this out periodically with different programs or videos that have come into our system that we'd like to highlight. So this is constantly changing. And this one in particular is on um, social emotional learning. Um, and then we have these shortcut blocks here across or subject areas. Um, so you can click into these um, and dive into the content um, in that subject area more. And then a lot of our folks get familiar with the providers that we bring or the programs that we bring on. So you might wanna jump to a particular provider, um, you know, if you're looking for something specific. So we have different things you can scroll through here. You can click into these as well. Um, and then kind of this section here at the end is one of my favorites is the ability to create playlists um, so a teacher can, um, we have some pre-populated ones, um, and then some that I've created myself, um, that you can add as much, many videos as you'd like to, to them, or you can create your own, click create playlist here, um, title it, whatever you want, you know, first grade science or second grade English, whatever it is you need. Um, and it's a great kind of shortcut way to get back to those videos, or if you want to show something in a sequential order, you can do that. Um, so just kind of a, a shortcut way there, but you'll see on the left side is like the navigation menu. Um, so you can click over into subjects and these again are the same as these blocks up here. Um, just another way of navigating to them. Um, and like I mentioned, health and fitness is one of my favorite areas to, to head over to. Um, we have recommended videos here. Um, the programs again in this yellow section, you can scroll through. Um, you can favorite videos. And also it'll show up like recently played. Um, and then some of the subtopics, you can dive into these deeper uh, based on the program provider. So let me just jump over. Um, Adventure to Fitness is a program that we've created, um, created and produced. And these are great, again, for the active learning and getting kids moving right in the classroom uh, for that physical activity. Um, so you can also sort by video length here right you know anything from two minutes all the way up to 30 minutes um, you can sort by uh, particular subtopics um, and you can also sort by grade range as well um, so let me just jump in here when you click on a video bear with me my internet is slow today okay so you see here's where you play the video the quick description about the video some of the topics and tags are associated with this video then we have these kind of green sections below that expand out. Um, and we have additional games, guides, and resources associated with this particular video um, that can be downloaded and shared with your students, take home assignments, um, activities, things like that. that. They can do that just helps to reinforce the learning or the concepts from that video. So um, just more uh, things that we're trying to bring into the platform. Not every video has um, downloadable guides and things or activities, but a lot of them do. Um, and you can head over to re teacher resources um, and sort through those based on the subject levels as well. Um, so that's sort of it as a quick, um, you know, I could spend all day going through our site, but as a quick thing, um, you can also search, um, you know, keywords or something like that up here, just like Google um, in our search bar and you can, you know, find whatever you're looking for there. So. It's a great way just to you know quickly find something, and you know that the content is quality. It's trusted. Um, unlike sometimes you come across things on YouTube that says it's one thing and it's not that. So um, we know it's safe. So um, let me head back over here in terms of our slideshow. And a quick look at some of our success. Um, we did a case study in Chicago Public Schools on uh, one school in particular that we focused on the students that used, um, or the classrooms that used um, adventure learning um, periodically, like two to three times a week um, from a variety of topics, whether it be mindfulness to physical activity to 
math or uh, ELA content, they saw a significant um, increase in points above the national average um, during that study. Whoops, I'm going too fast here. And then um, just as we survey our member base, um, we've there's a consensus that there's been a dramatic improvement in test scores, a significant reduction in aggression and behavioral infractions, and increased confidence and interaction among children with learning difficulties for those classrooms that are utilizing our programs in a variety of ways. So just a couple of quick recaps and reminders. Um, you know, A2L is a library like Netflix or Hulu of over 10,000 on-demand educational videos and resources. We are a supplemental resource. Uh, we span across course subjects and diverse topics. And we help teachers save time and increase student engagement. But what A2L is not, it is definitely not a replacement for any sort of curriculum or instruction. It's purely supplemental. So just want to make sure to, to point that out. We're not out here to try to replace teachers in any way. We need them every day. Um, so that's pretty much it for our quick demo of A2L. Um, so if there are any questions, uh, leave my email address here. Um, that's one of the best ways to reach me. I can respond to questions anywhere at home on the go. Um, and we also have our 888 number there. And then our website is adventurelearning.com. And you can also find us on uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And that, that's it for me. Thank you very much, Denny. Uh, that's an exciting uh, resource. I think we're, we're going to see some real interest in that, uh, especially in, in the run-up to our fall school uh, session this, uh, this yeah. next fall. So thank you so much yeah. for sharing with us today. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. I'm going to just flip us back over to my slideshow and say thank you to all of you who are uh, here with us live and all of you who are joining us uh, uh, in viewing the recording after the fact. Um, and thank you to all three of our presenters today for Taco Tuesday in July 2022. Our next Taco Tuesday session will be on August 2nd, uh, <clears throat> so one month uh, from now, and uh, we hope to see you there. Thanks again to all of our presenters and all of our attendees, and I hope everyone has a really great afternoon. Bye now.